Welcome to Globe Enigma Channel, in the ground that was made by pirates. There's a television show about it, you know, the curse of Oak Island, and they have some crazy hole in the ground, right? They're trying to figure out how to get into but there's all these weird little trap booby traps and all this crazy stuff from the strange curse that must be lifted before anybody can even talk about finding the elusive treasure that is rumored to be hidden on this mysterious island to the many dangerous booby traps that are put in place to prevent people from finding the treasure. Here's what Joe Rogan just explained about what they found at Oak Island. For more than a decade, Millions at home had watched as the Latino brothers and their crew took on the daunting tasks of searching for the elusive treasure of Oak Island. They and their crew have decided to be the ones to take on this more than 200 year challenge as those who had come before them, failed time and time again to unearth this hidden treasure. As such, it must have come as a surprise to the fans of the Curse of Oak Island TV show when they find that the likes of Joe Rogan have finally come across the 229-year treasure hunting mystery that has been part of Oak Island's story. Watching the most famous podcaster in the world and his guests get their heads around this mysterious treasure hunt on this captivating island must be a treat for those who have been following the Latina brothers and the crew of the Curse of Oak Island TV show for a decade and a half. Now, imagine if the entire world gets in on this fascinating mystery. After all, Oak Island has long established itself as a place of timeless captivation. Especially when it comes to the hidden treasure that is supposed to be discovered by anyone who is daring enough to take on the treasure hunting challenge. After all, not only do people not even know where the so-called original money pit might be, they also do not even know who exactly may have hidden the so-called treasure on Oak Island. As you can imagine, the Latina brothers and their crew have had their work cut out for them. That said, when we say that nobody knows where the treasure is hidden, what we really mean is that nobody has figured out how to get to it. Oh, yeah, but I saw it you know, and it reminded me of the dolls in the U-shaped structure. It's just about how big they were. Yeah, they were huge. This is because of the numerous ingenious booby traps and layers of mystery that the treasure hunters must overcome before they can get to this life-changing treasure. That is why it is interesting that the likes of Joe Rogan have picked up on the mysteries of Oak Island. Ever the curious podcaster it appears that Joe Rogan may have even helped the curse of the Oak Island crew with some of its captivating mysteries. So impactful was what he said. It poses a possibility of even helping them find the answers to some of the mysteries of this captivating treasure hunting spot. With any luck, this will help the guys find a way to the treasure that is suspected to belong to a whole host of people. At least that way, we can finally figure out if the treasure belongs to Marie Antoinette. That way, they'd know that the treasure was made out of the generational fortune that belonged to the French monarchy, before the world-changing events of the French Revolution. It could either be the treasure of the fallen queen, or the treasure of the likes of Captain Kidd, or other pirates that ravaged through the waters of Europe and North America. During the height of the golden age of piracy can actually see what but it's either collapsed or whatever, who knows what? Yeah, till we uncover more of it. Okay, get us dressed, let's get going. Those who may be hoping to find something that massive may be disappointed in the fact that the treasures may be made of the unpublished manuscript of Sir William Shakespeare. Well. If they aren't satisfied with the manuscripts or the treasures that they may find alongside these unpublished pieces of work that had been attributed to the great bard, at least they may be able to use it to make a Hollywood blockbuster. If they aren't cut out for all that work, they may be hoping that the treasure may belong to the likes of the Knights Templar as well. At least they could be certain that if the treasure isn't all made of gold, it may be made of ancient relics or holy artifacts that would make the discovery even more special for those who eventually come across it. As such, it should be a bit clearer as to why countless people have made their way from all corners of the globe, to that fascinating little spot in the waters of Nova Scotia, known as Oak Island. Unfortunately for them, they all discovered that traveling through the wretched waters of the Seven Seas, was actually the easy part of this treasure hunting mission. Soon, they'd find that they had to do it all when it came to finding the treasure. That is because it is said to be protected by a series of ingenious and deadly booby traps that were definitely designed to keep all those looking for the treasure away from it. However, 
things may change after what the curse of the Oak Island documentary crew learned about what Joe Rogan discovered about the island. During the Joe Rogan experience, the podcaster made mention of some revelations that have served to add a sinister twist to what was going on in the captivating island. What could this be? Before we get into it, we need to get some things straight. For starters, all these treasure hunting expeditions to the mysterious island only began when a kid by the name of Daniel McGuinness was just exploring the island with his friends. Unknowingly, this harmless activity will change the course of many lives in the centuries to come. That is because during this exploration exercise with his friends, Daniel McGuinness came across a strange circular depression in the ground. What could be buried under this? The young man probably wondered, well, you can't really blame him or any of his friends for thinking that there may be some treasure hidden within this depression. After all, they too had heard the many rumors of treasure that we mentioned earlier on. As a result, Daniel McGuinness and his friends decided to carry out the first ever excavation of what would eventually be known as the original money pit. To be honest, you couldn't really blame them for putting as much work in as they did. As they dug a mere two feet into the depression, the young men were excited by the discovery of a flagstone that they came across. This must have told them that some human activity was definitely involved in the process of digging this depression that they came across on the island. Thinking that they had come across an encouraging clue, they continued digging in the hope that they'd soon come across some treasure to their disappointment. Rather than finding the treasure that they had heard, so much about, they came across the strange things within the hole. First, there were the strange marks that must have been made by old tools on the walls of the hole that they were digging. This was another obvious clue that somebody had dug and filled this hole that they found, who they couldn't tell you or why they had dug this hole, except for the purpose of hiding their valuable treasure. As encouraging as such clues must have been, the young men couldn't continue with their treasure hunting excavation. After they got to depths of 30 meters into the hole, they must have been gutted, because despite digging a hole that was as long as a three-story building, they would eventually come away with nothing valuable for their effort. Perhaps they could take solace in the fact that they'd be the first of a multitude of men to eventually give up on this treasure hunting mission on Oak Island. As much as the allure of the treasure hunt on Oak Island must have been to all who heard about it, it still took another decade before anybody else took on the island's treasure hunting challenge. Unfortunately, this following treasure hunting group and all those that would follow afterwards will find that it was almost an impossible task to get to this treasure. As the booby traps were very good at keeping the treasure hunting intruders away from the treasure. This reminds us of the Onsler Company, one of the earliest and most notable groups that took on the treasure hunting challenge of Oak Island. The Onsler Company took their turn taking on the island's treasure hunting challenge back in 1802. Armed with their pickaxes and shovels, the members of the Onsler Company truly believed that they would be the one to succeed where the Daniel McGuinness crew failed Hoffman. They were a Canadian rubber company, making these type of boots in 1908-1909. This might be the pit that FDR was digging in. Perhaps it may be because when they approached the original money pit, they saw some encouraging signs that they may be making some progress with their work there. For example, they seemed to come across layers of oak logs every 10 feet. Not only that, they also came across some strange objects such as putty, charcoal, and coconut fiber, all things that must have made their way down the because of human interference with the soil. This was definitely proof that somebody had gone through the great efforts to conceal something down there. Maybe, just maybe, it could be the elusive treasure of Oak Island. Encouraged by these discoveries, one would have believed that the members of the Onslaught Company would never stop digging until they came across the Oak Island treasure. With time, the team hit a great milestone when they got to depths of about 60 feet into the original money pit. This was when they apparently hit something solid in the hole. You couldn't blame them for hoping that this was the treasure that the McGuinness crew had failed to find a little more than a decade ago. So you couldn't really blame them if they were disappointed that this solid thing that they found in the pit was not the treasure, but a strange stone tablet that had a strange inscription on it. As if that wasn't bad enough, 
they were soon met with a rather unfortunate disaster. This was when the Onsler company came across one of the most formidable booby traps on the island. To their horror, they found themselves helpless when the tunnel started flooding with water. There was nothing they could do to stop the tunnel from flooding. And in order to preserve their lives, they were forced to leave the hole behind. There was no stopping the flooding after they emerged from the hole. And as they could not tell who may have done something so wicked, they couldn't imagine how to stop it. As they watched the hole fill up with water, all they could do was wonder. Surely they were protecting something that was hiding at the bottom of this deep hole as much as they suspected that there was definitely something at the bottom of this hole. They watched helplessly as they couldn't figure out a way to stop the hole from flooding up with water. As a result, one couldn't really be too surprised to find that the Onslow company eventually gave up on finding a way to overcome this flooding challenge so that they could get to their desired hidden treasure. At least they could take solace in the discovery of the stone tablet which they took away from the island with them. Well, that'd be pretty cool. They thought they were chasing the money but at the time, maybe they were. Alas, Despite having the stone tablets with them for many years, the Onsler company struggled to translate the content represented on the stone by the strange markings found on them. Luckily for them, they were able to find a professor from Halifax who seemed to be able to help them with the strange symbols that were found on the stone tablet. After examining the markings on the stone, he told the Onsler company something that seemed to be a tantalizing clue as to the location of the treasure that they had spent so much time looking for on Oak Island. However, they struggled to make much sense of the phrase written on the stone in code after it was translated to say 40 feet below 2 million pounds lie buried, who could blame them from seeing some encouraging signs from the translation of the strange markings on the stone. If only they could find a way to overcome this gnawing flooding booby trap. However, one would find that there was still some worrying information that would serve to hinder those who may have entertained the thought of visiting the mysterious island. Apparently legend has it that seven people had to meet their demise before the Oak Island treasure could be discovered. Centuries later, it will be revealed that six people have fallen in this quest to find the hidden treasure of Oak Island. And as such, we may be waiting for one more death before this curse is finally lifted. That said, this curse actually never stopped people from setting off on this treasure hunt. Perhaps that is because they couldn't ignore the many theories and speculations that were developed concerning what may be hiding underneath the surface of Oak Island. Apparently the treasure could even belong to the Freemason, especially as a lot of their signs and symbols, such as a stone triangle and a cross have been found all over the island. Surely this creates a strong link between the secret organization and the elusive treasure that so many have searched for in the span of more than 200 years. Perhaps it was the search for ancient relics such as the Holy Grail that made the Turo Company make their way to the island in 1849. They thought that maybe they could be the ones to surpass Daniel McGuinness and the Onsler Company. However, they'd find that they too may not have been ready to face the flooding issues that their predecessors came across. However, rather than giving up like the Onsler company, they took notice of some of the features of the flood water. For example, they realized that the water was slightly salty. While this may not be surprising, they also took notice of the fact that the flood waters seemed to ebb and flow with the tides. This was a big deal when it came to the information gathered by those helping to overcome the challenges presented by the original money pit. This led to a thorough scouting of the island. This turned out to be a great move because following this scouting job, the team were fortunate enough to come across a narrow channel that could lead them to the treasure later named Smith's Cove. The Turo company soon discovered that this channel was part of a complex flood system that was designed to protect the hidden treasure from all those looking to claim it for themselves. We think this is when the Turo company and all those thinking that this treasure hunt would be a walk in the park realized that they had quite the task before them when it came to finding the elusive treasure of Oak Island. It saddens us to say that 
that despite all that they had learned about the flooding booby traps that had hindered their predecessors, they were unable to emerge victorious in overcoming them. Somebody else was going to have to find a way to bypass the many preventive measures that may have been put into place to prevent intruders from finding the treasure that may be hidden in the belly of this formidable pit. The Turo company will find that they too will have to leave Oak Island after being defeated by the island's treasure hunting challenge. As such, we are left to wonder if the likes of the Latino brothers may actually be able to overcome the Oak Island treasure hunting quest. Also will somebody actually have to die before this treasure is discovered? After all, many others have set off on this challenge over centuries. Yet nobody can claim that they have departed from Oak Island with the treasure in their possession. Today, the likes of the Latino brothers have tried to approach the treasure hunting mission with the use of modern technology such as metal detectors sonars and ground penetrating radar in the hopes of finding the treasure. However, all this has given way to is the discovery of some more clues that have just fed into the mysterious atmosphere of Oak Island. Among these clues or artifacts which the finders have linked to several historical figures and events such as the ancient Roman Empire, and the American Revolution as well as the Knights Templar and the Freemasons, like we mentioned earlier in the video. Despite these many links, none of them have been formally concluded as fact. Unsurprisingly, the allure of Oak Island did not evade the rich and famous who had found success in other endeavors. For example, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the 32nd, President of the United States of America was supposedly a part of the old gold salvage group that set off on the treasure hunting expedition to Oak Island back in 1909. Although he too would leave the island pretty much empty-handed, it is believed that he maintained a fascination with the treasure and the island all through his life, even while in the midst of wresting control of Europe from a certain German dictator. Let's also not forget the Errol Flynn and John Wayne, the Hollywood legend were said to have backed several expeditions to Oak Island in the hope that they back the guys that came away with the hidden treasure of the mysterious island. Even European royalty had interest in the captivating treasures of Oak Island. If you leave through your history books, you'd find that King George VI of Great Britain had instructed a pair of Oak Island's treasure hunters to report to him when they learned anything about the island's hidden treasure. That said, it must be noted that not everybody that has tried to make their way to the island have done so with greed as their driving force. Apparently, Joe Rogan found that some may have even had a far more sinister agenda in terms of their mission to Oak Island. To any treasure hunter's horror, Joe Rogan would voice his findings which claimed that there was no treasure to be found on Oak Island. Instead, it is believed that the mystery of the hidden treasure on Oak Island may have been spread around just so that there could be a trap to alert treasure seekers to their demise on the island. Imagine if somebody actually set such a grim agenda. This was eerily supported by the reports of strange hauntings that were said to be witnessed by those who decided to take on the challenge on Oak Island. Stepping into the realm of reality at least for a moment or two. Joe Rogan has also reported on the complex booby traps that could be found on the island. They were set in place so that those looking for the treasure would never lay their hands on what they're looking for. As much as this may seem like it is such an unconquerable challenge, it may encourage those who may want to take on the Oak Island challenge to know that Joe believes that those who designed the intricate traps on the island may have made a mistake when laying their plans. As much as this may be encouraging for these treasure hunters, they may also be encouraged by the fact that the treasure is rumored to be so humongous that several people have been engaged in power struggles over time, just so that they can acquire ownership of the island. That said, it doesn't mean that the current owners of the island will be discouraged from searching for the treasure on the island. With any luck, they will emerge victorious with the treasure and tow from the strange curse that must be lifted before anybody can even talk about finding the elusive treasure that is rumored to be hidden on this mysterious island to the many dangerous booby traps that are put in place to prevent people from finding treasure on the island. Here's what Joe Rogan just explained about what they found at Oak Island. 